YouTube, here is my first Inktober upload arty video for you. And this is done in a like random sketchbook that I decorated a little bit ago. It's just like one of those idea notebooks or something like that. So its pages are quite yellow. It's not actually bleach white like a lot of my other sketchbooks I draw in. And the pages are very thin, so thin that I can like see through it. And I think the ink leaked through on the other page. <laughs> And I'm not sure how many videos that I can upload for Inktober, but I'll try to upload as many as I can and as quickly as I can, but it just takes a little while to do these voiceovers and to get the confidence to actually speak. Sorry, ah, that was my dog. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hopefully I can do as many of these as I can. I've already recorded a few of these, like four or five, so I, I don't think I'll be doing the whole Inktober as in video upload wise, and if I did, then I'll be uploaded very slowly because it takes a little while to edit. <laughs> But I will be posting every day of Inktober that I do on my Instagram and I'm really trying to revive up my Twitter because Twitter um, posts my photos and artworks and stuff like that in higher resolution. It doesn't scale them down to what Instagram does so hopefully I can get that on board this month. <laughs> And yeah, today I'll be drawing a knife baby, I'm not really sure what it is, it's more like a theme actually, like a horror knife baby, you know, kind of like Chucky or Annabelle or something like that. And I got this idea from a catalogue, a catalogue that came in quite recently, it was just for like a shop or something like that, it just had like a baby in a, I don't know, like a jumpsuit or something like that, the clothes that I also drew this baby in, it's like XOXO, and I was like, oh that is so amazing, I need to draw that, and so I, I drew it like this. And what I'm using today to draw with is um, black ink. It's actually cartridge ink, you know, the stuff that you use for printers, but it also says that it can be used for drawing and art as well, so that's what I'm using. And I'm also using my Harry Potter quill that my brother got me um, a little while ago. And I actually did an art haul um, showing this, but I still haven't uploaded that because I, I need to edit it into a voiceover. Plus, it's a really huge art haul. But if I don't upload it soon, then I won't be able to do an art haul for January when I actually get more art supplies, so ah! But yeah, I'm trying to slowly get through Inktober. I've done a lot of sketches that I just need to ink, and I will be doing a video uh, soon, actually, on my inking supplies, because I actually surprisingly have a lot of inking supplies for the first year that I started art. That's just about all I did like for about I think six months all I did was black and white art or even longer than six months I'm pretty sure and so I have a lot of like quills and um, different kinds of inks and pens and just stuff like that and so hopefully I can show that to you soon and which ones um, I'll be using for Inktober which ones um, I like and I don't like my opinions on them not necessarily a full in-depth review just more like an overview I guess from my twisted point of view. Oh, oh yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want, you can like or thumbs up or subscribe or anything like that. If you don't, that's fine too. But thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Oh, before you go, I've also finished my sketchbook tour. I've finished voicing it and doing all the bits and pieces. They'll be up soon.